This is Chuck, and I was just going to give you another uh, quick uh, tip here with uh, iMovie. And uh, I've seen this question pop up a few times, and it's how to do a uh, voiceover over an existing project. So what I want to show you here real quickly is this. Let's go to some footage here. And uh, let's say if we've got some footage here, and uh, you go to the top, and we're going to go under window here if you follow the mouse cursor and we go down to record voiceover we see that it's grayed out now people are wondering well where can i put my voiceover well the short and quick is is that you need to have it in a project first so we're going to go and actually create a project so if we go up here to the top with the mouse cursor and uh, let's just go new movie and you've got different themes you can choose. Um, I'm just going to go with this modern one here just to show you what's going on and create that. And we'll just call it Home Movies. Okay, so now we've got a project here and we've got some footage here to choose from. So um, let's go and add some footage to the to our timeline here real quickly. We're just going to go grab some real quick. And just like that, boom. And then of course the always plus key here, the plus, when we hit the plus that'll just dump it right onto the timeline. Okay? So we've got this. This is just I love this Kodachrome stuff. This is um, Okay, so we've got our timeline. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually do a voiceover. So right now I think I've got some, I don't know, I've got some U2 or something. Let's hear this real quick. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is actually bring that down real low here. I'll just bring it, or you can bring it down to 0% or whatever. Okay. So now we're going to go to the start of this clip. And if you go to the top under window now, you're going to see record voiceover is actually available so we're gonna go and click on that we're just gonna record a, a short little stint here and uh, show you how to do a voiceover okay and we're counting down that's our cue and then here we go so I'm gonna do my this is a test these are some cool home movies and we are recollecting back into yesteryear as we look through here, this is actually my parents up on 31st in Northeast Seattle. This is around 1966. And there I am as I'm probably about one and a half, two, maybe, maybe two, not sure there, my dad. So anyways, this is the test. We're gonna go and play it back and see what it sounds like. These are the exteriors of the brick house there. And there I am as I'm probably about one and a half, two, maybe, Maybe two, not sure there, my dad. So anyways, this is the test. We're going to go. Okay, guys. So that was basically what I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you how to be able to do a voiceover. And then it obviously cool can be. Uh, movies. Um, and we are... It can obviously be mixed. And you can bring up the audio track too. Um, bring that back in as well. So um, anyways, that is my uh, tip for today for iMovie, okay? Hopefully that helps you out with getting a voiceover on your, your uh, project. Until next time, take care.